My name is Ebony Rivon. I am a family law attorney in Dallas, Texas. If you are a person who is in a situation where you believe that you may need to utilize the legal system, that is where you definitely want to start to determine if you need a lawyer. One of the best questions I think that you should ask yourself is, um, do I actually need to hire a lawyer or can I handle this pro se? And so pro se is where you use legal action, but you ultimately go through the legal process without counsel. However, realize that once an attorney is involved on the other side, you're going to have someone who has been trained and probably has years of experience of handling these type of cases. So you do not automatically need to hire an attorney. However, you may want to think about the disadvantages of going against a experienced and skilled lawyer as your opponent. If you've started the process and you feel like you're a little bit overwhelmed, then first thing I would do is ask myself, okay, is this worth the time, energy, and expense of meeting with an attorney and determining if I want to hire their services? If you decide to go with hiring a lawyer, one of the many questions we have is where can you find them? Some of it can be as simple as contacting a family friend or someone that you may know who's previously gone through this type of a case before and ask them if they have a referral. Another option can be the internet. Everything is on Google now. There are a lot of different websites that have client reviews from attorneys so that you can see how previous clients have fared um, with using this attorney. Um, when it's very case specific, whether it's personal injury or something as family law, there are different websites that have listings of different attorneys, um, different associations that are specialized in personal injury or family law, where you can go on there and look and read their bios. Um, and then also you can go to different attorneys websites um, and see what their history is. Most of them have their bios up, but ultimately I would suggest talking to two or three attorneys before hiring one so that you can figure out which one works best or fits best with your personality and what you're ultimately trying to achieve. You may want to start talking with the attorney about what are reasonable outcomes that they can achieve. Most good attorneys will try to manage your expectations about what a successful outcome in your case will be. However, without proper discovery or more likely a for informal request for information or a formal request for information, it's really hard for most attorneys to be able to tell you what they can do at the very outset of the case. So, most likely, the attorney will want to start by fact gathering in order to determine exactly where you are, potentially what your damages are, and how they can effectively litigate or use alternative dispute resolution to bring you to a successful outcome. Depending on the practice area or the type of case that you're handling, consultation fees may be very, very common. Generally, when a lawyer is taking out time to speak with somebody about their case, they will um, charge a fee. It's very similar if you were going to go to a doctor and have an evaluation or even something as simple as you were getting your car fixed, right? They're going to charge you a diagnostic fee. So think about it as any other professional, would you pay a consultation fee? So generally the answer is yes, but it's not always an automatic yes, so definitely ask them. If you're in a situation where you have hired a lawyer and you are questioning whether or not they are competent in your area or your case, there's some things that you may want to ask them. One is, how long have you been practicing in this particular area? So if you're in a divorce case, you may want to ask them how much experience they have. If it's a personal injury case, you may want to ask them how many cases they have taken to trial versus whether they have settled out of court. Um, you may want to look at other things such as their credentials. Do they have any awards or specializations in that particular area? Which are not necessary, but kind of show that they stand out among their peers. If you decide to hire a lawyer, and during the case you realize that either the attorneys are very friendly with each other, or they're very contentious with each other, do not be alarmed. Every attorney, just like every client, is going to have a different personality and a different way that they handle cases. In Texas, we do have the Texas Lawyer Creed that encourages civility among attorneys. However, some attorneys are very competitive. So you'll see different personality traits come out, you'll see different litigation styles, but ultimately we're all subject to the Texas rules of ethics and bound by the Texas Lawyer Creed. So hopefully all attorneys are being ethical while you, or while they are handling your case. If you hire an attorney, 
Not everybody charges the same to represent you in a case. Some attorneys like to handle cases on a flat fee basis, meaning that you're gonna have one set charge that you're gonna pay from the very beginning until the end. Now on the opposite spectrum, you may have some attorneys that hire um, clients on a contingency fee, meaning that they will not hire or take any money up front. However, they will take a percentage of any winnings or um, awards that you receive from the court. Now somewhere in the middle, you have people that hire or um, hire clients on what's called an hourly rate. So for any hour or a breakdown of time in that hour, they're gonna charge you for the time. And so ultimately you'll end up paying how much it costs for that attorney to complete your case. If you are in the situation where you have hired a lawyer and you do not believe that they are representing you well, you have lots of options. Your first option would be to talk to that lawyer and try to better understand what is going on and why they've made the decisions that they've made. Another thing that you can do is ask them to withdraw from your case so that you can hire somebody else. And third of all, if you believe that something unethical has happened, then I would strongly encourage you to reach out to the State Bar of Texas regarding the grievance process.